Happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. Check out my new website at http chefmcfadden.com. Alrighty, so we're back. We have food in the oven. I'm just excited to be cooking with you today. I feel privileged um, to be in your home. Uh, you can check me out on Twitter um, with the at symbol, Chef McFadden. Follow me on Twitter and also uh, don't forget about my Facebook, um, cook, um, Easy Cooking with a Passion. Also, you can um, look at my new website which is day viewing thing that these videos are releasing. It's called chefmcfadden.com. Uh, You'll see all these um, sites come up um, on the bottom of the screen here. Uh, what we're doing is we're gonna make um, meatloaf. For those who don't want turkey or ham and chicken, you just want something different. Um, I have prepped here um, basically onions and tomatoes, I, I mean onions and green peppers, I chopped them up in a food processor. Um, we have two pounds of ground, ground beef, remember 92% lean. Um, I'm using a glove because I don't want the uh, discolor from the food, um, plus I'm touching meat to really be um, in my hands or nails. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with um, adding in my mixed green peppers and onions. I use one green pepper, one um, onion. Kind of want to get down in here. Okay. Alrighty. So, coming up in my future videos, I'm going to be having my signature dish, which is what's um, what a part of my logo. It's Big, uh, big Zitty. Um, it's really delicious. All right, so I'm gonna add some rosemary in here, about a little under a tablespoon or... I'm gonna add onion powder, tablespoon of that. Two tablespoons of seasoning powder. We're going to use basil. And I put about a little over a teaspoon and a half of basil. We're going to use parsley. You know that was coming. <laughs> then I'm going to use garlic powder. With me, you'll find I cook with a lot of different seasonings, and I mean, that's what really gives you the good quality of the taste and the meat, and people want to know how my meats come out so good. I'm going to use um, sasson. Alrighty. With all these seasonings, I want to take my hands and mix them together. Hopefully you can see the bowl. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer here. Had the spoon because we're getting ready to make the cake, and I'm gonna finish off the rest of the two macaroni videos and the sweet potatoes. And we have the fiesta uh, corn. I try that corn. Um, I try like a little portion of it just to. Man, I had to get more. <laughs> um, so now, what I want to also do is um, we're going to add an egg in here. It's part of my. It's part of one of my um, ways of keeping the hamburger stick together. Crack egg doesn't have to um, be whipped in any way. Let's drop the shell in here. A crack egg. I would say for every two pounds of crack.
ground beef because you're making for a larger crowd. Um, you're going to use like four pounds of ground beef. Use two eggs. All right. Now we're going to add, you can add breadcrumbs. I'm going to use uh, saltine crackers. Drop and stuff. That's what happens when you're making it. I'm going to crush up the saltine crackers. I'm crushing them up while they're in the pack. Okay. Next video, I'm going to keep them there for minutes, 10 minutes, I believe. I'm trying to make them a little shorter. Like me, I start doing other things, but. All right, so we used a, uh, about a pack of uh, saltine crackers. I wouldn't even say a pack, I'm going to say a half pack of saltine crackers. You can use regular bread and just crum crumble it up. Um, or again, bread crumbs. I am using saltine crackers today. Okay. And one of the last things I'm going to add in here is one can of tomato sauce. Some people use tomato paste. I don't. Um, you really want to know how to make a good meatloaf? Just use tomato sauce. All right. You know when you cook, you're bound to make a mess on your counter, but I clean as I go so that at the end I don't have a big mess and I'm avoid using my dishwasher today. All right, and again, you can subscribe to me on YouTube at Chef McFadden. Please hit the subscribe button. You might have to log into your Gmail account. For those who have smartphones, you have a, a YouTube account. But just having a Gmail address, all you do is log in, hit the subscribe button, and in that way it comes directly to your phone whenever I upload any videos. Or because um, I have a lot of things coming this way, um, some charity work I plan on doing. I'm getting together, um, so you know I wanted to do uh, you know like a fundraiser for Cancer Society, um, being that we lost several people in my own family. So I know cancer has touched a lot of people's family. So what I'm going to do here is, this is ready. Um, I just want to show you the texture of it. So I'm going to take this into a dish like this. And I like using these dishes because it molds them perfectly to a shape of a loaf. You can use a loaf pan or two loaf pans. Um, if you're using a bigger dish, you can use one of those um, casserole dishes. Okay. So I'm going to take this glove off because I'm at a stage where I can actually touch it. Um, so yeah, you can use a casserole dish. Let's see here. What I'm going to do is shape it into a, a meatloaf. I have glass lids to go with all mine. If you don't, um, and I'll tell you what kind of um, dish this is. This is Cornerstone. Um, I love Cornerstone because they actually um, hold up nice in the oven and they bake perfectly. So as you see, you have a perfect loaf. This loaf will feed roughly probably around six people, um, six to eight people. But again, if this is for the holiday, you're cooking for just you and your family or individually for yourself, you'll have good leftovers. Um, what I'm going to do is now put this on the oven bake this about 400 degrees. Uh, this should take roughly about an hour, hour and a half to cook. Make sure you seal your lid on it. We're gonna come um, back with the final product. And then once we have the final product, um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, get um, show you what we do as a part of our topping. Thank you again, um, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back with the final product um, of our meatloaf. I'm going to put in here, I put uh, some ketchup. Your brand is up to you. I use a particular brand. Again, those are the kind of things that are going to be in my cookbook. All right, so I mixed a little parsley in here. I'm going to kind of 
take this across the top of it. What I'm doing is putting the ketchup on it. And then what I also want to do here is um, put it back in the oven for about a couple of minutes. I'm going to put another little thick layer on it um, to kind of make sure it's heavy on there. Not too heavy, but heavy enough that um, it's a little more thicker. You don't need to put anything else on this. You can serve it, you know, just open up the foil or the band on it, or the, uh, excuse me, the lid, um, and then let it just cook, brown up on the top. So what I'm doing is putting this one, I'm going to put this back into the oven about five more minutes. It's good to go. I'll show you the finished product once I go to plate it. Kind of wipe off because you don't want to burn. Kind of made a little mess here around it but that's kind of your final product um, if you're getting a picture here of your meatloaf and it's good to just slice it right there okay I just want to zoom in and show you the final glaze on the meatloaf it is done I'll plate it and I'll uh, give you a final picture here Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep in mind, uh, um, I'm debuting this on Tuesday, it's Saturday, Wednesday, so we'll be back on a regular normal schedule Wednesday. Please look at my new website, ChefMcFadden.com. Also, you can uh, follow me on Facebook. Tweet me at McF uh, Chef McFadden on Twitter, along with um, follow me on Facebook, Easy Cooking with a Passion. All right, well, thank you, and um, I'll see you. In my next video, we'll be doing our final video for the holiday, which is going to be our lemon uh, pound or lemon lemon cake. It's been known in my family. We don't go a holiday season without it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as Chef McFadden. See you next Wednesday.